I knew there was a thing in my closet, something really evil, but I also knew I was dreaming and I should face my fear. I tried to look directly at the closet door, but if I moved my eyes, my head would turn away. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't look directly at it. Then I woke up in a cold sweat. At first I felt really relieved that it was over, but very shortly I realized it wasn't a dream, and there really was something in the closet. I was laying on my back and couldn't move, and I didn't really hear it, but I could kind of feel this sickening laughter wash over me in and through me in waves emanating from the closet. All of a sudden, the thing throws a human head at me and it lands on my chest face up. It was this girl I knew in high school. Up to this point, I was kind of holding it together, terrified but not panicked. Well, I lose it now. I can't even scream. All I can do is make these grunting sounds, moaning sounds. I'm wriggling and straining trying to rock from side to side to get it off me, but I can't move. This seemed to last maybe a minute or two, and then I really woke up. It was so traumatic that for weeks I would be scared when I woke up that I wasn't awake and something horrible could happen at any second. It still makes my skin crawl when I think about that laugh. The thing is I had never heard of sleep paralysis or night terrors at that point in my life. I thought I was losing my mind. My first experience was in junior high and has continued to occur throughout my life. I'm 25 now. The worst experience I've ever had happened after I graduated high school and moved into my grandfather's old house after he passed. I had a couple of roommates who were out and I decided to take an afternoon nap. I knew as soon as I shut my eyes what was going to happen, but I never could imagine how intense it would be. The music I had playing in the background began to morph until it was nothing but the sound of an unknown voices screaming and crying in pain. I had fallen asleep on my side, facing a pair of doors leading into my walk-in closet, which slowly began to creak open and give me a glimpse of complete darkness surrounding a pair of ruby red eyes staring gleefully at me. As the doors continued to open inch by inch, the piercing screams intensified and I was able to pick out the word, hell being repeatedly screamed. I managed to jerk myself out of it just before the doors opened halfway, and I wasted no time bolting out of bed to the safety of my front yard. Feeling the sun on my skin and seeing the neighbor's kids playing in the street had never felt so good. Two years ago, I would have sleep paralysis so often that I was terrified to even try to sleep. If you're not familiar with what sleep paralysis is, it is a phenomenon in which a person either during falling asleep or awakening temporarily experiences an inability to move, speak, or react accompanied by a feeling of pressure on one's chest and difficulty breathing. It is also accompanied by usually powerful and terrifying hallucinations to which one is unable to react due to paralysis. The first hallucination I remember having while undergoing sleep paralysis was I felt like something was dragging its claws down my left arm. I had fallen asleep on my back on the couch in the living room and I remember opening my eyes a few hours later but I couldn't move a muscle and it felt as if I was suffocating. I could feel these claws dragging down my arm, 
but I couldn't scream. No sound would come out. I felt terrified and felt as if something was watching me. I had a dreadful feeling that I would die and no one would help me. After I had control of my body again, I sat straight up and began to cry and had to call one of my friends to talk to her to maybe keep my mind off of the horrible situation. Most of my experiences with sleep paralysis did not come with hallucinations. They mainly involved the basic symptoms of not being able to move my body, not being able to speak and feeling as if I couldn't breathe. The next experience I had was the most terrifying. My parents have a really comfortable memory foam bed and my dad was working and my mom was in another room. So I figured I'd take a quick nap in there. I had done so much research on sleep paralysis after having to suffer it for ages. And I made a note that most of my experiences happened if I slept on my back, though this time I slept on my stomach. I started to have the feeling of not being able to move, breathe, or speak, and I knew that dreaded sleep paralysis was happening again. This time I felt someone shaking me, trying to wake me up, and I heard my mother's voice saying, Baby, it's time to wake up. I still couldn't move so I tried to wiggle my toes and fingers hoping to wake my body up. Once I could move, I decided that I was not going to go back to sleep and went to the living room. Guess what I saw in there not even a few minutes after regaining the ability to move? My mother asleep on the couch.